Hi, Margarita here, and today we're going to talk about three things that singers wished that non-singers understood. Now I use the term singer, but this can be applicable to a lot of people in the performing arts. Oh my goodness. So many times people love what we do, but don't necessarily understand our plight to either get where we are or what we need to do. So this is just something to give you an idea of things that we typically won't tell you because we don't want to come across as rude or insensitive, but this is how we really feel. So number one, this is our job. That's right. This is our job, which means we expect to be paid for our services. Now, a lot of people say singers are a dime a dozen, and that may be true. Even still, in many other fields, um, workmen are a dime a dozen, but everyone wants to and deserves to be compensated for their time, energy, and efforts. So that said, this is our job means that don't expect us to just do things on the spot. Um, can your boss just call you and say, hey, come to work today. I know you're scheduled off. You'll probably have a problem with that unless you have a previous agreement. The same thing with us. Say, for example, we were an exotic dancer. Would you ask an exotic dancer to dance on the spot at the restaurant? Probably not. Singers hate being asked to sing on the spot, too. We need to prepare. There is so much that goes into being prepared to sing that a lot of people who don't sing don't understand. There are certain things that we cannot eat before singing. There's a certain amount of rest, water intake, and just an emotional state that we have to be in, even acoustic issues. Because all singers are not going to sing on every sound system. I know I don't. <laughs> if the sound system is janky, chances are I'm not going to want to use it and I will decline the invitation to sing. Why? Because it's our reputation. Our job, our craft and everything, our reputation kind of, you know, it hinges on that. And one bad performance, whether it's the fault of the singer or not, always reflects bad on the singer because that's who everyone sees. Most people in the audience don't know the different technicalities that go into a production such as, oh, well, if the sound engineer did something that wasn't right for that particular singer, it's not going to project well. All the audience knows is, oh, that person doesn't sing very well or what were they doing, especially if there's a lack of preparation. So please keep in mind, this is our job. Treat it accordingly. Number two, support is primarily financial. That's right. Singers hate when people who have never bought a ticket to their show, <laughs> who have never come to a show, always ask about a show. Why do you care? That's usually what we think. Why do you care? You know, we've been singing. Oh, this is the one I get the most. You're still singing or how's the music going? If you were paying attention, you would know. <laughs> we invite people a lot of times to things. We post it on our social media. We send the evites out and everything. And a lot of people just don't come or they commit to coming and then they'll have a regret saying, hey, I can't come or whatever. And that's fine. However, if you are one of these people, we prefer if you do not ask us about how things are going because we really don't think you mean it. It comes across as insincere if we haven't seen you at one of our shows, if you haven't purchased a ticket to anything that we've done. Hey, sit in on a rehearsal, whatever. If you have not supported with your time, your appearance or your dollar, chances are we do not think that you're questioning us about how things are going with us is sincere. And number three, this happens to me a lot. So I hope people that know me are watching this. <laughs> Because I hate this and I know I'm not the only musician who hates this because we talk about it all the time in our common circles. Do not volunteer us for everything without asking us first. <laughs> Let it be the family reunion, funerals, different functions and everything. This is our job again, like number one. There is a procedure for us to commit to doing things. Don't just assume that because we can and because we do that we will. Please make arrangements with us beforehand before putting us on the program. I have ended up on so many programs for things that I otherwise would not have agreed to simply to save face. Being a musician and a performer in general is kind of like being a public figure. And there's so many things we have to do just to save face because you, you uh, rub the wrong person the wrong way. All of a sudden now here comes cancel culture. And that's not fair. It is very unfair. 
because performing is an emotional thing. There's a lot of time, energy, and finance invested in being a good performer. And we like to be treated like true professionals. Just because it may not require a certain level of degree or certain education does not mean that a musician is not worth their salt and does not deserve the respect and dignity that everyone else with these types of credentials deserves. So please, please, please make plans with us first. Do not assume that we will be ready and willing to do events, especially if they don't pay. That's a whole nother conversation. If you're going to volunteer us, do so with the contract that we agreed to that has some dollar signs on it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your time. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We talk about fitness, fragrance, fashion, food, femininity, and lots of other wonderful F words. Oh, I forgot the wonderful F word for this one, falsetto, AKA music. <laughs> Why? Because all F words are not bad. I'm Margarita, and you have an awesome day. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,